everyone. This is one lecture of a huge course on portrait photography Photoshop techniques. So be sure to check that out. Click on the link in the description or go to goodcreativeacademy.com and find the course on portrait photography Photoshop techniques. Removing wrinkles is one of those things we want to do in a subtle manner in Photoshop. If you want to follow along, go ahead and open up darkcircles.jpg. This is my friend Chris, and he doesn't mind if I'm saying that he has wrinkles. So he really doesn't have many. Uh, just using this as a support file to show you the method. I know when sometimes we do some of these techniques, we duplicate the layer, work on a duplicated layer, and then adjust the opacity after the fact to adjust the effect. However, here's a different way to adjust pixels. Go ahead and create a new layer by clicking the create a new layer icon on the bottom of the layers panel and click and hold on to the spot healing brush tool on the tools panel and click healing brush tool. Make sure you have mode set to normal. You have the soft edge brush with hardness set to 0%. Sampled is selected and we have all layers as far as sampling. That's important because we want to sample the bottom layer and not just this transparent layer that we have. We can check aligned, that's just going to sample for the same area, resetting every time we re-click uh, if we don't have it aligned. If we do have it aligned, it's going to just stay in the same relation and distance from wherever we're clicking and dragging, so depends on how often we're going to sample there. So go ahead and let's zoom in, Control or Command Plus, and what we can do is just remove these kind of the crow's feet effect there because he was squinting and maybe some of this, the lines in his forehead. So make sure sample is set to all layers and then just alt click right here and then click and drag then it figures it out and uses some of that to sample. Same thing over here, alt click and then click and drag and then this line up here, alt click, click and drag if I let go and start clicking and dragging again, you notice this is still in the same relation because I have a line selected. Otherwise, it would reset back to here and then move around. We want to sample often, so I'm going to alt click here, click and drag, and maybe I'll click there, click and drag. All right, there we go. If you hit the icon to toggle the visibility of the background layer, you'll see this is our new layer, what's on it. And we can adjust the opacity if you think it's too strong. You can see the before and after. I think maybe about, for this example, about 75% looks pretty good before, after. Nice subtle effect. So that's how you remove wrinkles in Photoshop. Hey everyone, this is one lecture of a huge course on portrait photography Photoshop techniques. So be sure to check that out. Click on the link in the description or go to goodcreativeacademy.com and find the course on portrait photography Photoshop techniques.